We just saw Halloween 2018, and on this show, I take my friends, we go see a movie, we review it here in the car and have a discussion. This video is spoiler free, so if you're on the fence looking for a recommendation as to whether you should watch this movie, this is the video for you. And if you want to see everything that we talk about, including spoilers, you just don't care, you've already seen it, check out the other video as well. That'll be called Halloween 2018 Movie Discussion with Spoilers. This is, of course, the uh, much talked about. Uh, actual sequel to the 1978 John Carpenter movie. It completely throws out every other Halloween movie except for that first one. Um, I had the chance to see this at the Toronto International Film Festival, and I did not. That's my mistake. There were a bunch of other horror movies that were there um, that I also didn't see because all of the ones that I really knew anything about I knew were opening within a couple of months of me being there, and I was um, two of the three of the ones that I um, <laughs> knew about uh, turned out to be terrible, so I, I did all right. Um, I did have to wait and see this one. Uh, everything I heard about this is, is pretty much true. It is um, about as good of a sequel as you can hope for for a 40-year-old movie. It's great that they got Jamie Lee Curtis back. Um, they really use the fact that they've got the cast back. Mm -hmm. They set up lots of interactions between cast members that, you know, you you wouldn't expect. You'd expect it to be more action-oriented or, or more modern horror. You'd expect it to go like a PG-13 route or some stupid thing and be some studio movie. And it's just, it's none of that. Um, if this were a movie that was made today that was unconnected, uh, to Halloween, if they if they just made another uh, a slasher movie with this exact plot and with someone other than Jamie Lee Curtis in the role, people would say, "Wow, that's a great modern horror movie," Still and solid. it's a it would have been a great sequel to Halloween. Uh -huh. Right, and it just happens to be a to really be great so <laughs> a great sequel to Halloween. So I really liked it. Um, I would recommend it. It's uh, it's one of those movies that. If you're not uh, even a horror fan necessarily, this is one to go see anyway um, because it's it's that well done, it's that good. Definitely watch the 78 one first if you've been afraid to. There's nothing about the 78 one that's gonna scare you. There's really nothing in this movie that's gonna scare you either. It's rated R, it's violent, um, terrible, horrible things happen to people, but you know, it, it, You've seen worse at this point. There's so much out there. So, um, which one of the characters even comments on? In this day and age, the rampage from before is not that shocking compared yeah. to stuff now. But. I mean, you've seen stuff on late night TV that is probably more shocking than most of what's going on in this movie. So, yeah. Well, I I didn't exactly know what I was walking into. I thought my fear was maybe they would take it too far in some experimental direction, you know, because it's kind of like a, a like a, a contemporary kind of, not a remake, a continuation, but still, we're bringing it into 2018, that's like 40 years, so that was my fear was they'd go too far in some weird direction, but it doesn't, it's very focused, um, it sticks to what it is, uh, and so I, I think it's a so pretty solid movie, it is, I guess, a slasher flick, but it's it, it feels contemporary, and yet it's still got those nostalgic kind of, especially with the music, it's still got those kind of nods to the original, um, and of course the cast. Um, I thought Jamie Lee Curtis was solid. The uh, the Michael Myers character was, uh, for me, it kind of reminded me that there was it the Resident Evil Seven guy, the hmm. father and the how the creepy. He, he, I didn't realize I like the huge guy that's got this almost supernatural strength and just this scary dude that's kind of like on the scariest night of the year is on a rampage, so... Uh, That's pretty much Michael Myers. I right. Mean, and yeah, and, and more so in the sequels than in the first one, too, but... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that that was, like, that was pretty intense for me, it was uh, not really the violence, but the, 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 the kind of tension from that, and this Terminator-like guy just on, on the loose is kind of, like, kind of scary, so... I enjoyed that. It's really enjoyable. It has a real conclusion to it, kind of mostly, so I enjoyed that, too. Uh, but overall solid flick for this Halloween. Yeah, we saw it in Dolby Cinema, um, which I guess we, we should comment on. Um, Pretty cool. It, yeah, it's a cool experience to do that. Um, most of what I think is, is unique about it for this movie is um, they get a truer black with the Dolby 
projection because there's a lot of night scenes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they can they can actually project black, which normal projectors can't do that. They project like a grayish color instead mm -hmm. of black. And then the sound is really great because the sound design in the movie is really great, but um, it will not it will not out loud stupid people in the theater, unfortunately, <laughs> um, because there were some stupid people sitting next to me. And they weren't even commenting that loud. I moved because I, I didn't even feel like it was worth getting into a fight about it. But they weren't even commenting that loud. And most of the movie is... But every suspenseful moment. Ooh, every oh, suspenseful oh, no. Moment. Uh, so there's that. But yeah, I would recommend it. Um, check it out. Check out our discussion video. And uh, if you like the way we do these, please like the video. Subscribe. Check out all the written and video reviews at dalemaxfield.com. Thanks for watching.